Hello and welcome to this video on Smart Proxy on the video, Corel's Video Studio 10 but it applies on all of them I had it on 7, 8, 9, 9.5 and 10 but I never got it to work properly and I've actually sold the 4K camera because I couldn't get it to load up and I did watch other people showing me how it was done but it didn't work for me so let's just open up Corel Video Studio 10 you can see it's the ultimate version but it doesn't make any difference and you can also see it's got quite a bit of stuff in it started track transparency time remapping 360 video, video editing, mass creator, group objects, and so on and so forth. I'll go straight to edit. I did watch some videos by Grips and KK movies and videos in America. And I owe a lot to Grips because he taught me a lot about Video Studio. But nobody seemed to show just how important this getting this proxy was to get loading your videos, especially with 4K, because they are big. So I'm going to open, first of all, a, a new folder for it. And I'm going to, I don't know, call it 4K Playtime. I'll do it. Try and spell time right. There you go. And I shot three videos out of my window earlier on 4K, only little short ones and we'll see if we can find them and that be under video studio 10 and they're called 4k testers so we'll open all four and while they're highlighted i'm going to unhighlight them but re-highlight them again and right click any of them and actually they've done it <laughs> you can see this second square on them there that means the video the actual computer has done it it's gone straight through to the smart proxy i was going to say right click and go to smart proxy there create smart proxy file but well we can highlight it won't make any difference and go okay and then all three would load up and you go to settings up here and you can open smart proxy manager third one down the queue manager and it shows you them loading now until they've loaded don't do anything until you've got them two boxes you can highlight them they don't say anything just wait till you've got them and then these are loaded up down here at that size 720 by 480 and I'll just run through it let it run through now you can see there's an HD thing there. I'm going to click on it. Yeah, because I never see any difference. It always looks the same to me. Hang on, there we go. HD. Go on then, move. <laughs> there. And that's HD. But to be fair, the size of that screen, it doesn't really matter. If you click it off, it doesn't, it doesn't make it ropey. That screen's ideal for 720 by 480. Now, as to my settings, I'll show you what I set. Yeah, I'm not saying this is what you should set. It works for me. Now, I have got a Predator computer. It's a gaming machine. I got it because it was very big, very fast. And it was all singing, all dancing, and answered the door and told jokes. So I thought I'll get it because it could handle graphics and 4K. I didn't realize my last computer would have done 4K if I'd only known this. Leave it till it's changed to a smart proxy. Because at 720 by 480, you could run that with two bean cans and a long piece of string. Even the smallest, ropiest laptop could work with that. It may struggle loading it up as 4K again onto YouTube or Vimeo or onto your Blu-ray disc or whatever you're doing. But I'll show you my settings. Here we go. Here's Project Properties. 
and you can see I've got mine set for online and there's my settings there 24 bit 720 by 480 25 frames per second and that's up there that's what I'd use you can change it if you want to they're all in there but I realize smart proxy will load a lot quicker if you load it a lot smaller and you don't need it big so that 720 by 480 is more than enough in fact it sleeps and bounds because I've never, never shot a video that small. Well, I might have done in the days, way back in the days. But I'll go to my settings again. Hang on. We'll go to the settings again and preferences. And there you can see on performance, I have told that anything over 1280 by 720 shoot on proxy load up on proxy sorry and there's the settings there you can put it to 720 by 480 if you want but I've set it somewhere else so that'll change but that's the one I do and you can also tick the auto generation box I do it all the time tick that that's it locked now it can alter and it will load anything over 1280 by 720 as a proxy file but it takes ages with 4K and I've got all these ticked as you can see. Hardware acceleration optimization. La di da. But once they're loaded, they're only 720 by 480 till you come to send them up. We'll go to share. There you go. Share. And there's a 1920 by 1080 I always load if it's 4k I load it as a 4k and my favorite is that one there 380 3840 by 2160 by 50p by 65 megabytes a second you can come down a size if you want 25p and 40 bytes a second but I've got nothing else to do except let it load up it looks good if you've got a 4k monitor if people looking at it don't have a 4K monitor, then it sometimes pays you to load it up as a 1920 by 1080. And the definition is still, I would say, 3K, 2.7. 2 and it's pretty damn good. Anyway, that's about it. I uh, hope you understood it all. And... Good luck with it, but let it load up into Smart Proxy. You've seen my settings. If nothing else, try them before you try anything else. But if you go and look up Grips on YouTube, you will see he has done a lot of this in depth, the whole lot, setting it up for 4K and so on, which is where I learned it. But let me emphasize, you must let the Smart Proxy load up or you will run into problems. Now this bit I've slid in here is actually working on the video that I shot to show you how the smart proxy worked. So you're sort of seeing the smart proxy of a smart proxy, smart proxying, if you know what I mean. Somewhere along there, you should make sense out of it. <laughs> but I just thought it'd be an idea so you could actually see what I did. Some of it anyway, not all of it, obviously not. It would take too long. Now I've loaded that to video up that I've been doing for you there it is and you right click on it and you go down to create smart proxy file and there it is and you click OK and then go up to settings go to smart proxy manager and come down to the queue manager and there you can see how it's loading just wait You have to be patient. So sing a song to yourself or whistle one. <whistles> Pop goes the weasel. I can't sing and I can't whistle. <laughs> In fact, I don't have many skills for anything. But I do have patience. That was about five or ten minutes of video. 
Now, you see, you'd be trying to work on it if you didn't know about this, and then your computer keeps juddering and locking up and making you bad-tempered and switching it off and cursing your computer. And there's no need. It's just uploading it. And when it does, I'll show you what to do. Because you won't automatically see two boxes straight away. There, it's done it. Now, you can see there's not two boxes up there like there is there. So we'll click OK. And we'll click it. And look, there it is. Bingo. It's moved there, but <laughs> it does that, and I don't know why. It's probably to do with something I don't understand, and there's a lot I don't understand. In fact, what I don't understand would not probably take 3,000 books to fill in. And here is what I've been showing you. This is the video of the video of the video <laughs> showing you how Smart Proxy worked. And you can see how some of the editing was done as well. It's your lucky day. Hope you enjoyed it and it wasn't too convoluted for you. At least now you know how to use the Smart Proxy properly. All it needs is to press the right buttons and have patience. Lots of it. Well, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe and then you'll know what else this mad idiot's getting up to. Bye. Just remember, patience is the watchword. It's worth it with a 4K to get the 4K in the end. Don't rush things. And this is definitely the end, because look, it says it. Bye. <laughs> uh, it nearly says it, the end.